Hello everybody, the code topic is here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about reasons why you need to learn PHP in 2020. Before I start, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe and the bell notification button to be informed of videos just like this. If you like the video, hit the like button and let's start. There is bad tendency around PHP these times and I decided to make a video to show all the great features the PHP has and all the reasons why you might need to learn PHP in 2020 or in 2021. So a lot of developers' opinions, according to a lot of developers' opinions, PHP is a language you should not learn nowadays and you should more focus on other languages like Node.js or Python. And I want to say that every programming language has its own advantages and PHP does have its own big advantages and in my opinion PHP is one of the best programming languages for web development. So it can be used for many, many different purposes, building small websites, complex websites, some CRM and complex e-commerce systems, as well as building REST APIs, and PHP can even be used for video image uh, processing and manipulation. And PHP works also fine with almost all databases, no matter it's relational or non-relational. PHP is a very easy to learn and very easy to set up. In fact, PHP is uh, the language on which the most websites are hosted nowadays. Around 60% of the whole websites are written on PHP or is using PHP at some point. So the most popular content management system, which is WordPress, is written on PHP. So if you learn PHP and learn WordPress, you can very easily find a job for you. And WordPress itself has a huge number of websites hosted on its system. There are other CMS and e-commerce systems built on PHP, such as Magento, uh, Drupal, OpenCart, and, and so on, and they are quite popular. So PHP does give you possibility to use a ready code, a ready system, and build on top of it, which is very, very good for time saving and saving costs as well. PHP has a couple of great frameworks. Laravel, Symfony, Codeigniter, E2 framework. Laravel is, mo is the most popular PHP framework and in fact, it's the most popular backend framework. So if we take uh, the main languages, mainstream languages like Python, Node.js, uh, Ruby, PHP, and take the most popular frameworks built on these languages, for example, Django and Flask on Python, Express.js on Node, uh, Ruby on Rails, and uh, Laravel, for example, uh, the Laravel dominates on all these frameworks uh, in terms of popularity. So if we have a look at the GitHub stars, Laravel has uh, 10,000 more stars than Django and Flask or Express.js. And if we have a look at the Stack Overflow activity, Laravel definitely is very popular there as well. So uh, just Laravel and WordPress itself, I think are very valid reasons why you might need to learn PHP in 2020 or in 2021. Laravel and WordPress itself are uh, in active development, new versions are created every time. So they will be here for next several years and your PHP knowledge will never be useless in the next several, several years. If we have a look at the job market as well, for example, on Upwork, we can see that PHP is very demanded there and good PHP developers earning quite a lot of salary. In general, I also want to talk about why is there such tendency that people don't like PHP. People hate PHP and that's why they tell other developers don't learn PHP. And Probably the one reason is that they don't know PHP well. Probably they had some bad experience previously on PHP. They didn't like something, it was many years ago, and that's why they don't want to see PHP anymore. anymore. And even worse, they tell other developers, don't do this, don't learn PHP. So, which is not correct in my opinion. Okay, so PHP is a language which definitely gives you possibility to write bad code. And in practice, 
you can write bad code in any programming language, right? But we should say that PHP gives you possibility very easily. So it's very easy to write bad code in PHP. Probably uh, a beginner developer when starts writing some uh, some program, some website on PHP from absolutely scratch, he uh, or she just creates his own website with the easiest possible way he has. In PHP, there are many different ways to do the same thing. And the easiest one doesn't mean that it's the best one. So you choose the easier one and you have at the end a very big mess. For example, I have seen very often in my students' websites that they create every PHP file for every web page, like the index.php, about.php, delete.php, and so on. So this practice is very easy to do, and it can be valid when you have up to five pages or up to 10 maximum. But as soon as you are building something complex and large, like blog, for example, now, you should not do like this. You should come up to some structure and organize your files. By the way, I have created about six hours course on my channel, which is split it into eight, eight videos, uh, how to create an MVC framework from scratch. And as soon as you see this, you can understand that if you just create that structure, you can very easily build something very awesome and it's also very fun and pleasure to work with PHP when you come up with some structures. So if you have a chaot chaotic situation in your code, it's it's not very pleasant to work with that code, right? So Laravel itself, let's let's talk about that framework. So it's practically impossible uh, to write some bad code in Laravel because it gives you its own frames. It's going, it's it's give it's giving you its restrictions, right? And you have to follow the guidelines Laravel gives you. You have to create controller in the controllers folder. You you have to create views in the views folder and assets in the corresponding folder. And that just gives you possibility to have your code very very organized. There are certain cases when PHP is definitely not the best solution. For example, building real-time web applications or building AI and machine learning applications. So for the later one, Python would be the best solution. And for the real-time web applications, in my opinion, Node.js will be the best solution. However, you can use Python as well for real-time web applications. So every language, as I mentioned at the beginning, has its own purpose. And PHP is definitely good for web development, probably one of the best, but not so good for real-time and ML and uh, AI web applications. Okay, to sum up the video and give you the exact reasons why you might need to learn PHP in 2020 or in 2021. So, it's very easy to learn, very easy to set up. You can build, it's multi-purpose and you can build uh, from small websites up to complex e-commerce and CRM systems, REST APIs, image processing, video processing, audio manipulation and so on. The most popular content management system, WordPress, is written on PHP and there are many other popular content management systems. The most popular backend framework Laravel is written on PHP and there are many other popular PHP frameworks which are actively used and very demanded. There are high demand on the job market on PHP. The PHP community is huge, huge and you can practically find all the all the uh, answers on your questions and solutions on your problems in the internet. PHP 8.0 is in the development and will be released in November and PHP in general is in active development. And that being said, I think you have a clear understanding why it might be good to learn PHP in these days. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below, subscribe and hit the notification bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.